What's up, champions fam? It's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. I'm not going to hold y'all for long, but it finally happened. It finally came to pass, y'all. This past weekend was pretty busy, pretty tedious, if you ask me, because we had a new set of flash fuse that ran throughout this entire weekend y'all from friday to sunday we were hit with back-to-back -back feuds five in total and quite frankly y'all it came with a exclusive prize wall now granted this prize wall did conclude at the same time of the final flash feud which did irritate a lot of the community it is what it is scopely has made these type of mistakes in the past before you know nobody's perfect but i do think that scopely really needs to start are looking into acquiring a weekend staff that is going to be on standby in case things like this happen because it, it's a terrible situation if you were holding on to your ingots that you got this weekend so that you could properly purchase certain resources that were available and it's a shame that some uh, some players, if not many players, missed out on that opportunity and quite frankly, I hope that Scopely resolves it. If not, well, maybe better luck next time. But as you can see here, my journey has finally come to a close. Thanks to the different offers that were offered. Thanks to the milestones from the contest. I was finally able to get the final possessed skull that I needed to four-star gold. My favorite champion in the entire game up to this point in time. And probably until the very end of the game. Ruthless Aggression Trickster. Edge, the Rated R Superstar. Right after coming back during the Royal Rumble at number 21, we were able to get that last skull, y'all. So best believe we will have a video dedicated to him going all the way up to four-star gold. But outside of that, though, there were mad, mad resources to be made and acquired during this uh, this weekend. If you were able to participate in all five feuds, they were tedious. They were strenuous. They could have been a little bit of a headache depending on how your roster was built and equipped in a depth form. But if you were able to participate in all five feuds like I was, you were able to walk away with solid opportunities to get some solid resources or even solid champions. They had four-star tech Kofi against all odds in there. There. Um, as an available champion, you had shards for Jimmy Uso. Some people even took screenshots showing that you actually got more than just shards. You got, I think, 500 shards of Jimmy as well as the card for Jimmy. But then again, that probably could have also been a screenshot from a player who was already sitting on shards uh, for him. And then once he bought them, it showed the shards plus the card because he finally unlocked them. He or she finally did that. But you also had a chance at NWO Mach. Macho, macho shards, Mr. T shards, Hulk Hogan shards. You had a solid shot at some props, you know, some Shango, uh, Shango Kurt, uh, um, curses, some show of hearts, health packs, coins, TP bags. There was a lot of key resources on deck. And on top of that, they had a couple of very solid flash feud offers following each feud. Like I picked up a couple of them. I bought the 500 TP. I bought the two five-star silver tokens as well as eight four-star gold tokens and finally the four million coins for the very last feud but you had to be on your p's and q's with this one and i hope that you were all able to capitalize on top of that we had the royal rumble contest still running and they had this flash feud um contest running and they basically coincided because each time you hit a milestone you got some royal rumble ingots that got you closer and closer to the end so i hope some of you were able to get that new gen um uh, that new gen epic strap as well as four star bronze lex luger american original those tier four medals and maybe those uh, final Stephanie McMahon tokens that you need to take her to four star goal while they're still available and accessible but quite frankly y'all this was a solid 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 weekend overall a solid follow-up to the conclusion of the hall of fame mlc but now we have something to set our eyes upon with the brand new february 2020 mlc and that is going to be starting very soon we've already seen some premieres and previews of the brand new champions that are coming we got the brand new prize wall champion in Modern era acrobat Andrade Amos El Idolo 
finally coming into the game. Another monster when it comes to multiply gems. So more than likely for this MLC for the three year anniversary of WWE champions, he more than likely will get a boost towards his multiplied gem strength. And then when it comes to the free to play unit, we have none other than Shelton Benjamin, the gold standard modern era powerhouse entering the fray. Now, this is my personal opinion after looking at gameplay videos and just listening to the OGs talk about it. In my opinion, if you're able to get the shards for Andrade to unlock him at four-star bronze, go for it. He's going to be a solid threat. He's going to be a problem. I've even seen pictures uh, and like gameplay of him doing it with a boost to his multiplied gems up to times 14 strength. But he also seems to be very board dependent. So in my opinion, even though some might look at this differently, I think that you might want to go ahead and invest in Shelton Benjamin, the gold standard. He's a pretty solid four-star champion from the gameplay that's been made available for him. And he actually looks like a pretty good monster because Andrade deals with multiply gems. Shelton's going to be dealing with blast gems. So he's going to be able to blow up the board. And this is also a thing to consider with the perks that are going to be involved and the MLC boost that both these champions are going to get. They're going to be very dangerous and very very great additions to your roster if you're able to obtain both of them. Now, Andrade is going to have gear that's going to increase the strength of his multiplied gems by three, I believe. An all-white gear that he wore during his debut in NXT or one of the big NXT TakeOver matches that he had. But with the combined times eight multiplied gem strength boost plus the yellow move that boosts his multiplied gem strength as well Andrade's definitely going to be a problem but again he seems to be highly board dependent so if I were you if you already got a guy like Ricochet one and only if I had to choose between the two I would still continue to invest in Ricochet but if you feel that you can do it if you if you're one of those type of players that loves to add to the collection then go all in do what you got to do with the 4 weeks we have within February leap year y'all go ahead get it in and get Andrade and bring him to your crew because who knows how you're going to get that gear. It might be a leaderboard reward, but inevitably, out of the two champions, you already know how it is. They've been dropping some pretty solid free-to-play units. I mean, Stephanie McMahon, I love her. She's definitely one of my champion waifus now. We had the Broski 6 release. We got Wendy, a Richter, um, Jeff Hardy. There's been a lot of solid free-to-play units that have come and gone in WWE Champions when it comes to MLCs, and this is the three-year anniversary. So don't sleep on... Shelton just because he's another powerhouse we can say that about any class but I would say that I would like to see some more female champions be made into free to play units so we can uh, you know expand the roster on that side because we got plenty of meat in the room if you know what I'm saying when it comes to WWE champions it's time to make some space for some more ladies for some more diversity and gameplay maybe possibly give us another broken free to play female champion and champion overall that possibly can reduce stuns that would be an interesting mechanic right there a good reason to go all in and get them as high as possible but that's the video y'all we had a very solid flash feud weekend solid opportunities at resources even though they closed down the um, prize wall early maybe they'll make things up later on if not it is what it is i hope you were able to capitalize we got two new champions coming in powerhouse shelton acrobat andrade Yabrowski was finally able to get that final possessed skull from my favorite champion in the game, Edge. We're going to get that, that final star filled up. We're going to try our best since he did sign a new multi-year contract with WWE. Hopefully that gear comes back around on a prize wall or through a loot and your boy will come back to going full uh, pay to play when that situation happens. But we're still going the free to play route. And since it's the month of love, you know, Black History Month, as well as Valentine's Day, you know, on its way, we're going to be doing some mad crazy TP farming for both black and red TP and see what we're going to get to. So stay tuned, y'all. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Hope y'all get some sleep. Stay tuned. Support all the broskies who dropped content on Shelton Benjamin as well as Andrade Amis. I was not able to do the work, but I hope that y'all all had a great time. I hope that you have a great 
MLC coming up in February and what are your plans? Are you going to hoard this MLC? That's my plan. Just do my dailies. Wait until the end of the MLC to clear all the tours. See where I can get with the um, prize wall. I'm going to sit out on the coin and TP contest. Build up discipline. Stock and, uh, stock and hoard like a madman once again. And then see what the other month's MLCs have to offer. But this was definitely worth staying up those crazy hours and getting that final score for my man Edge. I can't wait. Stay tuned until next time. Mad love is always. Peace.